Hello everyone and welcome to the first ever Minecraft church service. My name is Abundant Seagulls and we are in the beautiful York Minster Cathedral. Now, you guys are about to hear a message from the man who built this entire thing. So, without further ado, I would like to introduce you guys to BuildBank. Good evening, gamers. Oh my gosh. Okay, we're gonna have to come up with a better uh, intro than that. Uh, anyway, welcome. Uh, welcome to uh, Minecraft Church. Um, this is uh, this is something that uh, me and uh, Seagulls decided to do. We thought it could be uh, it could be a little fun, um, kind of keep you guys entertained during quarantine. We can't really go to church during quarantine, so maybe you guys can join us for virtual Minecraft Church. Oh man! Well, I'm excited because I love talking about. Um, God and what I believe in. And I really want to encourage some of you guys that we've met through the live streams um, to be asking questions and learning as well. So um, we want to kind of provide uh, you guys um, a time to um, learn a little bit more, maybe get to know what we have learned um, and to, uh, to just kind of um, unpack a little bit of what it means to believe in God and, and kind of what that means as a whole, because a lot of people might say they believe in God, but what exactly does that mean? Um, so that's what I want to start today with is, um, why do I personally believe in God? But first off, just, just, uh, what it means to believe in God is you, you believe in, in God means you have, you, you've come to understand that there is a higher being above our understanding. Um, something that's uh, created us and the world around us. Um, so you're you're believing in a in a higher being um, instead of things just happening by chance. You believe that something created all of this. But if you really think about the the world around us, um, it, it's really not as as crazy as as you might think. To believe in God, we kind of reject the idea that everything came from nothing. Uh, but instead, we understand that there must be someone outside of our understanding of time and space that put us into being. So I believe in God because I believe us as humans, we have a purpose. Um, there's a lot of coincidences in the world. Um, and some people might see those as just coincidences, random chances. Or you might see it as there actually is something to all this. There's a reason for us being here. We have a purpose because all of us want to live. We want to do something with our life. We want to grow up and make a living, but we're not really sure sometimes what to do with our lives. Sometimes we we're confused in what the purpose or meaning for everything is. And yet everybody that lives wants to find meaning, wants to find purpose. And I believe when you believe in God, you find that purpose. He has a purpose for each and every one of us here on earth because he created us and designed us. So when I say I believe in God, I'm saying that I believe that we are here for a reason and we have a motivation to live and that we're not just random chance and that we are special and we're unique and we have a purpose. Guys, the world that we live in is extremely, extremely special. When I look at the world, there's, there's so many coincidences and, and, and miracles almost of how our world can function in the way it does. A lot of, of very famous minds like Nikolai Tesla, Einstein, Stephen Hawkins, they all, at least once in their career, mentioned that there, there has to be something above our understanding, something that um, is bigger than what we can see and hear, something outside of our uh, time and space and our perception. And so all these extremely smart people uh, have, have come to a, to a realization that there must be something greater. Now, they never once said, oh, it must be God, but they did realize that there, there must be something out there. So to, to believe in a God is not being stupid or believing in magic. It's believing that there's something out there that we don't fully understand. Scientists say that the earth is so special that it is one in 700 quintillion. To give you an idea of that number, 700 quintillion, imagine 700, but with 18 zeros after it. That's how special our world is. It's just one planet amongst all those other planets, the one planet that works out that fits just the right space. It's just close enough to the sun that we won't 
um, burn up, but it's not too far away that we don't freeze to death. It's just the right um, area that we can have liquid water and that life can sustain itself. It's so perfect. There has to be a creator that made all this. We aren't just random chances. I want to encourage you guys to think about these questions. Think about um, what do I believe? What, um, you know, do I believe in God or, or do I not? Um, I want to encourage you guys to be thinking, to ask questions. Too many young people these days are just going, not thinking about what they believe in. You should think about these things. They're important things. I also want to encourage behavior that purposely goes against social norms in the pursuit of healthier, happier lives. I think I can speak for a lot of people in saying that we want to live healthy, happier lives. We don't want to end up um, in bad places when we grow up. And so our goal for doing these is to hopefully encourage um, those who are maybe not sure about things or looking for answers um, to give them hope and encourage them um, to live their best lives, even if it is going against the social norms of trying to fit in with your friends, but changing that lifestyle because you want what's best for yourself and you want to plan ahead. Um, we also want to present our views of God and the Bible in a way that's easy to understand. We want to be able to provide you guys um, some clear understanding of God and the Bible and what it means to be a Christian, um, because ultimately both me and Seagulls, we believe in God, we're Christians, and we'd love to explain these things to you guys. Um, but lastly, we don't want to um, push our beliefs on anyone. We want to encourage you guys to think, and we're not going to be upset if you disagree with us. Um, or if you um, don't believe in what we believe. We ultimately want you guys to just um, to question and to think. And also, we'd love to hear back from you guys. If you guys have any questions about the stuff that we've been talking about um, or things that you have questions about God or Christianity or the Bible, um, please uh, comment below in the comment section and we will try to answer those questions in future episodes. But that's it. Thank you guys for coming. This has been Minecraft Church. We'll see you next time. Well, hey, thanks for joining us for the first ever Minecraft church service. We really hope you guys enjoyed it. If there is any way Build Bank and I or the rest of the Off-Brand Culture team could be praying for you, feel free to let us know down in the comments below, or you can message us on our Instagram channel. Uh, we also do live streams every weekday. So if you want to come hang out with us during the week, we would love to see you there, and we hope to see you guys soon.